Hey guys, welcome to episode of one of Let's Learn HTML. So today we're just gonna learn about, well, how do you like actually make the HTML file, not what's actually in it, and a little bit of how you format it. So first thing that you're gonna do to create an HTML file is that you're gonna create a new folder. Um, name it whatever you want. Let's just name it HTML. So, open it up, put another folder in it, named images, or really you can name it whatever you want, but just make sure you know it, that it's something that's going to contain images. Then you're going to make a text document, then we name it whatever you want, just HTML again, okay? Then we're going to open up the text document, file. Actually, first you might just want to put something in it. Okay, so just put anything in it. It's not going to matter for you. And then click Save As. And then, let's just change the name so it's not confusing, but just test.html. So we do test.html, and then go to text document. And then... Save it. No, and I, of course, I did that wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah, so save as. Uh, test. Dot. HTML. I did that wrong. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. Well, no, delete it. Then, okay. So now we have this test. See if we open it up, it's not gonna say anything. Now you're. And now first we need to learn how to say how to make it say something. Now in order to edit this, I suggest you use something like either. Okay, I suggest you e use either uh, Notepad plus plus, which is pretty simple. Or a uh, free JavaScript editor, yeah. So pretty much, I probably recommend this more. But anyway, so okay. So we're gonna use this, and if you're gonna use this, I might, you might as well just, like know what I'm doing. So we're gonna open this up. File open. Um, and we're just gonna go to it. Which we'll do HTML, and then we're gonna open up this. So test. Okay, so we have nothing in right now. So what we're gonna want to do is that every single HTML file we make is will be like turned into a website. But it, like when it's on your computer, until you do something like FTP file access, pretty much it can only be accessed by you or anyone that has access to this file. So, yeah, so it's pretty much like a web browser. And there's different things that we can learn, like how to make the text look cool, or like make it interactive. But for now, we're gonna do something simple. So every single HTML file must start with something like this, like exclamation point, doc type, HTML, and then another bracket. Notice that we put just brackets in the front and end. Every single text, like tag, is going to have these brackets. And everything else that's not in the brackets is going to be just text. So then, under that, we'll put slash HTML. So the way that that works is that most of them, I think this is the only one, but every single, no, 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 this isn't the only one, but most tags, they'll have this, like they'll have your normal tag and then in order you have to close the tag by doing the same thing with slash HD with just a slash in front of it but certain things like images and links pretty much it's a it's different instead of putting doc type HTML you're just gonna put slash HTML so you'll notice if we just put hi in front of it then we save 
then we go ahead, open this up again, open up test. It's gonna say hi. So that's good. We want it to say hi. Okay, so next up, let's open it. But that's not that's pretty simple. I mean here. What but what if we want it here, like if we open up tab uh what do you call it? Chrome, you'll see that it says like new tab here. What if we want it to say something custom? So another thing that a doc that any HTML file should have is a head and a body. In our head, one of the things that we're gonna put is a title tag. So just I suggest that you like get a notepad file open and like write it to. Okay, so we have our doc type HTML, then our head our title, head, and then slash head, and then we have our body tags, and then we have slash HTML. So whatever goes in our title will be what like says what it says up here. So let's say we want to say hey. So then we'll just save it. Open this up. Test. And it will say hey up here. So that's the easy part. So you already know how to make it change the tag. So, and then here we can just, in the body, we can write hi, or really anything. So, and then the next thing that you ever want to know is that in the, in the body, you can, you should put p tags to mark that you're going to put a paragraph. The reason for, the, you don't, like, the thing, you, you've noticed that, like, when, when you just put the doc type HTML and slash HTML, we could already put text. So you're probably wondering what's the point of the bodies and the paragraphs and like the heads. It's just for later when we learn CSS, you're gonna need it to like target this. So if we want to make everything in the body blue, then that's when we use the body. Understand? So we would just target the whole body instead of every single word. I guess you could say. Okay, so in the paragraph, we can just put this is a paragraph in there. So if we go and click save, and then we open, uh, why did I close it? Okay, then we open this up, test, it says, we'll say this is a paragraph. So I think that's all for today, and so see you next time.